You got me exclusive. I'm so high, I up and lose it. You take me to a safe place. We set the on the same base, yeah. I'm crazy. You like that? Don't back down. No, you don't back. Hello, angels. Me and Nico just pulled up to the Savers. We haven't been to in a little bit, and we both have coupons because it's the holiday weekend. We're gonna take you with us. We're gonna hopefully find some good stuff. Hopefully it's not too busy in there. And then when we get home, we'll see what we get. Skirt, 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 skirt. What about that gun? Whoa. Hey, what about that shiny lass? Hey, that's like the one I have at home. Eight dollars. All of the clothes are supposed to. Ooh. Pretty dope. Lolita. Sick. We also have Dirty Rotten Scoundrel. Oh. And a really sloppily drawn police car. <sighs> oh, my. Oh, Annie. He's so homely. Look at his little whiskers. Yeah, he's stupid. Oh. That one's even more dumb. Oh, my God. I like this guy. He's a jam jar. Jam jar. Oh. Jim jam. Fat cat. This one is pretty. Pretty swan. Four dollars, y'all are f***ing on crack. Whoa, what is, what is going on here? <laughs> what is that thing? What's he doing in the antiques? <laughs> well, somebody ditched him. This dog's oh pretty God. sweet. This dog's pretty clowny. Oh, look that at dog's this one. cute. I like that one. Yeah, me too. We're thinking eight bucks. Look at it. A lot of good dogs. Should I bring this home for my dad? I don't gotta paint it first. <laughs> look at this ski dog. A lot of good dogs today. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Another dog. Wow. This one reminds me of you. Oh my god, stop it. You are embarrassing me. Oh my god, look at this stupid cat. Oh look at it's how right stupid it is. Dog. Look at its frontal. Oh, it's more rotund <laughs> than I ever thought. Let's see. Look at this big idiot. <laughs> oh, donkey oh. Boro, look at his face. Clown content. I have this in the bathroom. Oh yeah. Get the opposite one. Fancy. Wow. He's a sad little boy. He's a sad little oh, dog. He's cute. He's cute. It's too expensive. Why so expensive? Oh. Oh, you can see me. Love is here to stay. Baby, that one's sweet. That's gotta come home. Oh, sweet. It's you and me. <laughs> it's crazy looking. Friendship. Piglet. Should I deal with this? Oh my god, they're taxing on the Garfield mugs even. Even the Garfield. Six dollars. That's the dog Whoa. I was talking about. Whoa. Oh my god, this like matches my salt and pepper shakers in my shop. Oh yeah? Oh, look how wonky this cat is. <laughs> oh, that's kinda cute. Oh, fun. Delicious. This is a classic. Mickey, the mouse. Oh, there's another Mickey one. Oh, look at this little Las Vegas. Ooh, precious this moment is. This one isn't even that bad. Yeah. That's a double pack. Yeah. That thing. Can you call it a cupcake at that point, or is it just a cake? Oh, I like him. Awesome. What is he, just one salt or pepper? Reserve Dollars? Four for just the one. Oh, it's that goofy. It's one I got the bins. Oh, yeah. What are Great. the odds? Ooh, look at this old box. Ooh. Scale and bowl? Ooh. A scale. Is that a wear? You went right past your little dish. Are these ounces? Looks like an exact science. Huh. You're telling me somebody abandoned this? <laughs> The audacity, <laughs> the nerve. Why are Cabbage Patch Kids so creepy? Yikes. Yeah, I wanted to see this little tail on this guy. Oh, it's a bag of shit if I ever did see one. Well, what shirt do we have bitched here? Is that like Ben Franklin on the dollar bill underneath? It is, it is, is actually. so ugly. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Sorry, Maybe. Nova. <laughs> Abandoned again. Think about buying that garbage can. Oh, okay. Oh. Shamu and his crew saved Shamu. Did they save him yet? Shamu's dead. Oh my god, come on. Ooh, ooh. Pika. Dirty face, brother. Hey, you got Halloween Mickey. That's kind of cool. This was always one of my least favorite meal cuts. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks probably like a Kiko or something. That is a big mama. 
Aww, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Well, goodbye, lovers. Waters. That's stupid. That's fun. Looks soft. Red, close enough. Ooh. Why is this a dollar fifty? Pricing things erratically. Chicks rule. I guess they have that. Spongy. That is sick. Army girl dystopia sheet. <laughs> Cute. It's fun. All right, angels, it is time to venture into the shoe aisle, which I usually find a couple good pairs of shoes here every time I go. I immediately spotted these Deb stilettos, which fun fact, I used to work at Deb right when I moved to Minneapolis for about a month or two, and it sucked big time. So luckily it was only two months or less, but definitely nostalgic for me to see, very mid 2000s and just memorable, so. Always fun. Next I spotted these guys, which I've been really into this like khaki, like green color lately and sequins, but I don't like that these are like espadrilles or whatever on the bottom. So putting them back, but they're honorable mentions. Nico spotted these. They are super heavy, but super beautiful. I'm pretty much drawn to all the sparkly ones. As you can see, a lot of these prices are just like too high, like not cute enough to the too high ratio, like these fucking Etnies. Check these out, beat to hell. They're asking $10.79. They've never looked shittier, like just bad. And yeah, if they looked nice, I'd probably buy them. Etnies are in right now. Like people are into that skater vibe, that like 2005 era stuff, but oh my God, Sabres is, totally out of their minds for this. Nico also spotted these, which again, really cute. They wanted $15 for these and they definitely had their fair share of flaws. Nico kind of kept inspecting them cause he was into them. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Like I know inflation's crazy right now, but like savers, you have got to like stay in your lane and stick to reality. Look how fucked up these are. Like just not doing good, not for that price just tragic. I really liked the spikes on these ones, but yeah, not quite cute enough, not quite good enough condition. But these, however, are very cute. I never see this spell pattern on like these clogs. So this definitely reminds me of a hat that I used to have when I was in high school that I bought from Journeys. So these are really, really, really cute. And I think these would do great on Depop. So since I have a coupon, I'm gonna put them in the cart and these might be coming home with me. Nico found these crazy like construction worker-esque shoes too, which are dope. But then I spotted these Rocket Dog loafers and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. These are cool. They're very gothic Lolita. And again, because I have a coupon, I'm thinking about it. They might come home. We will see. I'm gonna put them in the cart. But yeah, back to the uh, construction worker boots at hand up there. Um, after I spotted these, of course, these are pink with a sweet little ribbon. I couldn't resist. Sometimes I'm just like so overstimulated at the thrift store. It's hard to like control myself. Okay, these, what are these all about? These are surprisingly exhilaration from Target. I never would have literally guessed that. I would have guessed like Pretty Little Thing or something. So kind of crazy. I kind of like that vibe. The flip-flop section looks like it's been like literally ransacked, which this Savers is usually pretty clean, but I guess it is like the 4th of July holiday sale going on right now. So maybe that's why they're really, really picked over and just like looking sloppy as hell. But I did find these Hawaiian like sandals and I feel like that imagery is really familiar but now that I come to think of it I think I have a postcard or something that has that exact photo on it of like these hula girls so even though these don't fit the aesthetic of my shop I'm gonna throw them in the cart because maybe I kind of want them like they're dope I also really liked these bongo ones I love that embroidery that is so mid-2000s and just so cute great condition if they were cuter, I probably would have grabbed those. Um, these are like a Gucci abomination. <laughs> if they weren't so dirty, they might have potential just for, you know, wearing around somewhere like the house. But 
I don't know. These are pretty cute too, but only because I kind of like that bottom print. Like, I just thought I'd show them off. Like, they're not great, but they have a little potential. These straw ones, however, again, very cute. Reminds me of the hula ones I just put in the cart. Straw platform, really unique. Um, again, they don't fit the aesthetic of my shop though. So it's like, even though I like them and I'm like, oh my God, somebody would love these. I just don't think they're probably gonna come home with me, but you never know. So I put them in. I like to downsize the car right before we leave and just really like commit. And oh my God, if these flip flops did not have bones and paw prints on them, I literally would not have gotten what they were talking about. <laughs> Okay, I made it over to the lingerie section. At this point, Miko has left me to go look at the menswear. I immediately found this little minty lingerie slip, which I love these. I think they're great for layering. They're super freaking cute. And they're great for like upcycling too. I have a fabric marker and I love to like put little like phrases and stuff on clothing. And these are just prime real estate for that kind of thing and also when you find them at the thrift store they're cheap so it doesn't really matter if you ruin them um but i haven't ruined any yet so at least there's that now i'm trying to decide which way we should go let's see t-shirts sometimes the t-shirts are really really underwhelming because there's like six rows of them and it's like a lot of like really shitty advertising but first thing i saw was this weird nightmare before christmas knockoff from romway Ramway is basically like one step above Shein, so kind of just hilarious, but yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Next I found this wolf tee, which, you know, everybody likes a good nature tee, I feel like. The price wasn't crazy on this one, so I threw it in the cart. You can take the girl out of the honky-tonk, but you can't take the honky-tonk out of the girl. That looks like something that I would have found in my hometown, honestly. Okay, David and Goliath t-shirt. Yes, 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 love these. I have sold this shirt before, so I have no like issue selling it again, I'm sure. Um, work hard, play hard, yes, love that sentiment. The shirt, not so cute though, so that one's not coming home. Just a girl who loves hockey and hamsters. Wow, could there be any more of a specific ass t-shirt? Kind of hilarious. And then we have a Lady Gaga moment, which honestly, kind of cute. I like that color scheme. I also found this August Burns Red t-shirt, which I was never personally into August Burns Red, but I threw it into the cart for Nico to look at. I did listen to Dragon Force every once in a while though. So <laughs> I also threw this one in the cart to show Nico and just in case. And then there's Green Day. It's like a Banty freaking massacre up in here. I'm also gonna give this one a Nico to just see if he wants it because sometimes he doesn't find much of the savers. So I'll just give him options. Same with his Magical Mystery Tour. It's very modern, but you know, people like Banties and they always will. Less dress, more sparkle. Easier said than done t-shirt. Ugh. I'm actually pretty impressed with how good the t-shirts are today though compared to usual. Like some of them are obviously pretty bad, but um, usually there's a lot more just like, yeah, sports tees of like local, I don't know, sports teams and advertising and stuff. Eh, it was better today. This tiger shirt was pretty cute, um, but it's like some weird Target collab. They priced it really low though, so. I was like, well, maybe. It does have a little bit more wear than I originally saw though. So I did end up putting this back eventually, but still cute. I like a good tiger shirt. I liked the glitter on this pink one. And I'm hoping that I find a couple more before we're done with this strip. We have seen so many Domo shirts today. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but like when we were at the bins earlier, Nico had a Domo hoodie, which we were like, well, let's see if it sells. Cause it's definitely like, the scene kid era is back so only time will tell oh this one is so cute i try to lose weight but it keeps finding me i love the glitter i love the color of it oh i'm not gonna get it but like honestly pretty darling i has all the ninja skills um have you ever seen anything more 2006 in your life and then i do this thing called whatever powerpuff girls cute little varsity sleeve not quite cute enough, but honorable mention. And crustacean content. Love to see it. 
Okay, call me crazy, but I love the jewels on this neckline and I used to love shopping at Route 21. So I had to show this off quick because fun. Okay, then I spotted this BCBG tank top. It's tie dye, it's purple and white. It is new with tags. Um, a little expensive for what it is, but since it has the tag still on, it has potential. Oh my God, this is so fucking cute. Love from Juicy, little sleep tank top. Okay, this is officially my favorite thing I've found today so far. So even though it's a little expensive, I do have my coupon. So let's throw it in the cart and see what happens. Panic at the Disco tank top. Fun fact, Panic at the Disco is the first concert, like major concert that I saw live. Um, this thing is cute as hell. I am picturing this on myself and loving every second of it. It's a cute little floral lacy teal tube top kind of dress, or not a dress, but whatever, you know, close enough. Also, me and Nico were at Margaritaville for the first time recently and loved every second of it. This tank top is really cute, but like not quite cute enough to like buy, but still, I love all the imagery. Mm, love to see it. Um, if you have to say you're cultured on a t-shirt, you're probably like not that cultured, but um, of course Forever 21 made this. Hola, bitchachos. Hmm. Fun little flamingo moment. And then right around this time, a guy came up to me and said he liked my hair. I said, thank you. And then he started lingering next to me. Um, so I turned and looked at him. And the next thing he said was, hey, are you over 18? Um, <laughs> I was so shocked as a 30 year old woman to hear those words that I said, why? And then the next thing he said was, uh, do you like movie theaters? I said, do I like movie theaters? <laughs> Again, just shocked and appalled. Um, this little pink Victoria's Secret tube top dress thing is adorable. I don't usually like Victoria's Secret stuff or pink stuff for that matter, but I do like varsity kind of like stuff, especially Y2K ones. So I threw that thing in because it's got potential. Oh my God, I love this too. Holy crap, this is cute. Okay, this would fit me like a dress. It's black, it's long, it's covered in rhinestones. It's got everything a girl could dream of. That one's definitely going in the cart. I might have to keep this one. God damn, that's cute. Then Nico came over to show me a couple things he found. He found this cat rolling cart, which is cuter than the one that I found at the bins recently, if you guys remember, which did sell really fast also. I sold that thing on Mercari and it just was flying off the shelves. I found this cool little pinstripe gothic button up in the dress section, like the women's dresses. It definitely looks like a men's shirt. So I'm gonna show that to Nico and see if he wants it because this definitely has Depop energy and I think he might do well with it. This cute little purse has Bobby Jack energy from the mid 2000s and it's just like really colorful and fun. Kind of reminds me of Claire's too, so I'm gonna put that in the cart. This one's cute as hell, but then I realized it's from Target and it's $10. Like shut up, that's probably how much it costs it at Target. Like I was just gonna like upcycle it and like sew a stuffed animal to it, so. A little bit of a bummer on that, but oh well. Then I found this hoodie. This one is from the brand Cruel, which definitely looks like it's in the same category as like affliction, sinful kind of stuff. I wish it had more details because like it does have some cool like jewels in the sleeve area and has that little embroidery, but it's not quite doing it for me. Like it needs a little more tacky energy. Then I found this schnauzer sweater which I don't think I want to get, but I'm gonna show it to Nico, see if he wants it. I could see this in his shop, so why not? Throwing it in, I love dog content. And good moms say bad words. Can I get a hell yeah? This t-shirt is cute as hell. It's like terry cloth, very vintage vibes, but they want $10 for it, which is probably why somebody ditched it in the hoodie section. Then I found this Trix one, which, oh my God, cute, first of all. Um, I've been really craving Fruit Loops lately, low key, but I bet they don't taste as good as I remember them tasting when I was little, so I always swerve it, but still cute. Okay, this one is fun. I love the colors on this. I love hot pink. 
I can't tell if this thing's vintage or not. Like it kind of looks like it is, but also it's kind of a gray area I feel like, but I am obviously busy. Love the sentiment. I should wear that to work. Okay, this might be one of the cutest things I've found today. This little BCBG Mogoth as hell, old English rhinestone encrusted hoodie and they didn't even price it like idiots. God bless up. This one's only $5.79 and I have my coupon. Oh, fire. This one is going to do well on Depop. I know it. Now Nico's showing me some pins that he found. Um, just like super duper random vintage pins. Don't even have the pin part, honestly. So I don't know what he's going to do with these, but you know, he's drawn all that weird little memorabilia type stuff. So he's probably going to end up getting these because why not? Then he showed me this cute little Queen Amidala Star Wars coin purse, which I immediately fell in love with, as well as these Precious Moments pins, which I thought were earrings. They're not, but there are two of them. So I mean, I guess you could like maybe force it if you want to, but I don't know if that's like safe. So don't listen to me. This thing is so cute though. Like I'm like trying to picture it in my life. I'm like, do I need it? Do I not? And then Nika also found these pins that say Rocky on them which I think he said he looked up later on and it's some like kind of like dude that was running for president or something, but oh, Queen Amidala coin purse. This thing is really cute. I don't know what I should do with it, but basically I'm like, are you going to buy that? And he's like, yeah, unless you want it. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I need that for some reason. Same with these pins, sniped them. Gotta have it. Just looking at a few more hoodies and then we're gonna go pretty soon. But like this Coke one is pretty dope. I like that it has the Coke is it sleeve print. I personally love the Coke is it merchandise. So if it said that on the front instead of that logo, I'd probably get it. All right, time to go home. It's already seven and Savers is closing. I don't know how time flies, but it always does. Hello angels, it is now the next day. We got home last night pretty late. Uh, we had to stop at Target on the way home and then it was like 9.30 and then we made tacos and then we went to bed. So we are finally ready to show you what we got. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I feel like the stuff I did get is pretty perfect. So we're gonna take turns, show you guys a little bit what we got and let you know what we plan to do with the stuff. Well, first off, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, we did end up getting this little Love Is mirror from the 70s. It is dated down here 1970. Um, so do you think that's like true? I know that's when this came out, but do you think that's really this old? Probably. That's crazy. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a cute little size. I couldn't pass this up. I don't really know what I plan to do with this. We might just keep it for a little bit and then eventually like sell it at a yard sale or something. I don't know. Maybe ship it. It depends. I'll have to look it up and see like what they go for online but freaking adorable could Absolutely. not let it go yeah it was only like eight dollars and then it was like 30 percent off i think with my coupon so yeah i see these shirts on depop a lot lately too like i know people are really into that right now i'll start off with this banger she found this one schnauzer schnauzer uh my neighbor growing up had a dog like this and the thing barked at me every single day when I came home for at least 12 years or however <laughs> old that dog was. It was probably like 16. So that's that. Next thing I have is this cute little Queen Amidala like coin purse. I think these came from like Burger King if I remember right. Mm. Possibly. And yeah, it's like got the little coin slot. You could put like arcade tokens in there. Nico found this but gave it to me and because I, I was like super excited about mm. it for some reason. I don't know. When this like um, movie came out, I... I was kind of drawn to like the imagery, even though I was never into Star Wars, but I did have some school supplies with Queen Amidala on them, yeah. so. She was super cool. Yeah, she's dope. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might put it on Depop, but it's so needle. I'm not really sure, but had to get it. Might as well just show you this next. Grab this Outcast CD, cause why not, you know? It's a good album. There's the, I've never seen the disc before and it is so hilarious. I'm pretty sure Andre 3000 actually did this art. Yeah, like that. there's not much I gotta say about that besides I will be playing it sometimes when I clean the house because we got a little CD player. Classic, <laughs> the Hello Kitty CD player. For this purposes, I'll say the Hello Kitty one, <laughs> but probably the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I got is this cute little Steve Madden baseball cap. I like that it is camo. It has that sparkly little star. It is peeling a tiny little bit right here, 
But other than that, it has this cool like texture to it and just very Y2K, tacky, dystopia chic. So I decided to grab this one. I will put this on Depop and Mercari and I'm sure that it'll do just fine on there if I price it at like maybe 24 for starters plus shipping. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens with that, but I'm sure somebody's gonna really want this and love it. Next is this shirt. Brooke found this as well. I'm not sure what it says on the back, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I still can't really read it, but it's really cool embroidered. It's kind of got like that gothic-y kind of look. I thought there was uh, printing down the sleeve. Oh no, it's on the front, I'm thinking. It says Monarchy, that's the brand. Pretty cool. This is definitely a Depop piece. Mm -hmm. Might wear it. I don't know. Probably not. I think about it though. Let's be real. Let's be real. Maybe not, but maybe. It looks like it like might actually fit me because usually button ups are like gigantic. But yeah, coming to a Depop near you. Next thing I got are these cute little Rocket Dog loafers. These are a size six. They are very gothic Lolita and shiny as all hell. I love the Rocket Dog logo, very Y2K, so I had to grab these. I think these will also do good on Depop especially, but I'll probably put them on Mercari too. I usually do both, um, no matter what, lately, but you, you really never know which one is going to sell on lately, I feel like, too. So this I'll probably list at like 30 for starters, and hopefully that will go to its new home. This seemed really random when I found it. It's just these bunch of like vintage pinbacks that say Rocky on it. I definitely had to look that up, but it's this Nelson Rockefeller. I guess he was running for president. So like 60s, 70s era, when I decided to list them, they're like $5 a piece or so. So pretty good deal at 150. These old political buttons do pretty well. Yeah. Next thing I got is this really weird, cute little, also like Y2K style bag. It has like little monkeys and unicorns and sheep on it. It says hot bam. I don't really know what's going on with it. It just definitely reminds me of simpler times <laughs> and it's just cute as hell. So obviously this is going to go on Depop and Mercari, but definitely screams Depop to me. So, and the interior is nice and clean blue can't go wrong i'll probably list this at like 25 for starters and see what happens but yeah it's pretty funny fun pattern i especially like this uh blitzed toad toad on this mushroom right here <laughs> he's cute oh my god speaking of toads I say, speaking of blitzed <laughs> toads totally wasted you got one drinking one drinking the other one's smoking with googly eyes another one's just got his underwear on his head my kind of party that is a size medium also probably a depot piece anything is potentially also a whatnot piece follow here mm -hmm. yeah our next whatnot show is going to be on thursday the 7th so i was kind of trying to decide like if i should put any of this in it or not but i'm probably gonna do some of the things we got at the bins earlier that day when we did this trip so That'll all just be a surprise to y'all, but I was considering giving this away in the whatnot auction. I got this little Chicks Rule coin purse, which I might just like put with like some other little goodies and make like a little goodie bag to give away with maybe some like fake eyelashes or like some jewelry or something. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea, but I, I think that's kind of fun and it have like a little bit of everything in it. So... Yeah, this guy's cute. It's like David and Goliath, except not. It's like that Fred is red, which I really don't know if they are connected or not. I just remember them both coexisting when I was growing up as a teenager. So if anybody has more information about the difference between Fred is red and David and Goliath, let me know, because I'm gonna have to look it up to be sure. Who's got time for that? Not me. Okay, she also found this one for me. There was, I feel like the guy Dookie. section was super, <laughs> was super <laughs> picked over, but it is Dookie. Probably my favorite Green Day album, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to grab it. She showed me a few different things and this one seemed worthy. I mean, look at those dogs partying. Does it get much better? Elvis, come on, come on. That is a size medium. 
Depop or whatnot. Classic. That's what I'm feeling. Next, I have these cute little Precious Moments Angel pins. Me and Nico both thought these were earrings because there's two of them, <laughs> but unfortunately, they're just pins. But they're still cute. If they were earrings, that would be freaking iconic, though. So it's kind of low key a tragedy that they're not, but still precious. Not really sure what the fate is of these as well. I don't know. I don't know. But they're cute. Couldn't let them go. All right, next I found these other vintage pins that don't even have the backs to them. So why do I have them? You can make magnets. Not quite sure. Oh, there we go. Someone's thinking. So this one says J. Edgar Hoover sleeps with a nightlight like a little baby. Come on, Hoover. We got, it's not the work that gets me down. It's the coffee breaks, which I don't understand, honestly, because the coffee breaks should get you up. I am a human being. Do not fold, spindle, or manipulate, or mutilate. You said manipulate. Manipulate. Been talking about Come on. For days. Mutilate. I'm trying to read it backwards and I just can't do it. Oh I God. tried. <laughs> but please don't mutilate me or her or any other human for Christ's sakes. But there's that. That'll be a magnet for maybe a giveaway someday. So there we go. Next thing is the other pair of like clogs that I got, which have this skull pattern on them. So again, this is Depop Gold. And they're kind of like a cool like canvasy feeling. And I like the little heel on them. It's the brand BOC Born. And they're in pretty good shape. Couple little stains here and there, but definitely like not heavily used. So I'm gonna look these up and see what they're kind of going for. But I should be able to make a little bit off of these. These are a size six and a half. Very cool. Cute as fuck. All right, I'm already onto my last piece. I didn't get as much at Savers. Stay tuned for next week because I did get more at the bins than her this time. But yeah, it's just a super cool, very soft actually, blondie sweater one way or another. Thought it was a good pickup. I mean, blondie, you can't go wrong. Very classic. Depop or whatnot. That's perfect for both of them. Next thing I got, pretty boring, but I do love this box. Like, this is such a vintage gem, this Weight Watchers scale box. I did grab this because I can use this to weigh packages with as long as it works properly, which it was kind of hard to tell in the store if it did or not, but I think it does. So I'll compare it to our current scale, which the battery is low on. So again, I was like, I better just grab this, but yeah, the colors drew me in and it should be good for whenever the batteries die on our normal scale that we use to uh, pack packages up with. So why the hell not? Cute. I also got two lingerie slips that basically match each other as the exact same pattern. First I found this minty one, which first of all I love this color. So dainty and cute. It has this really big lace strip running down it. And then the little bow. Oh my god, look how cute. You could definitely layer a lot of cool stuff with this. And definitely like true vintage. Here is the tag says it looks like it says slippery fection or something i don't even know <laughs> but like yeah whatever it is these are dope they're in really good shape and then i got the matching peach pink colorway which again is the exact same it's just got the little bow at the bottom and the lace running down i might customize these with my fabric pen we will see i just customized a sweatshirt recently it's just kind of time consuming and scary because I freehand that shit. So we'll see. Once I'm sure what I want to do with them, I might spruce them up a little bit. Next, I have this tank top, which somebody definitely abandoned because it was in the household's aisle. But this is iconically Y2K, like the tank top with the Florida Lee and the pyramid studs. Just super cute racerback style tank top. This is from the brand Day Trip and it's probably about a size small but yeah i just love this it's very cute this is gonna do really good on depop and mercari i actually did get one more thing and i'm wearing them oh. i got these uh real tree camo pants which honestly fit better than any of my other camo pants that i have right now and i like the colors so yeah very cool i think they're like five dollars next thing i got is this david and goliath t-shirt which I have had in a larger size before and it sold on Depop and I think I might have sold it to Christina. Christina if you're watching remind me but this one is a much smaller size. This is a 
Let's see. This tag is out of control. Like it says, let's get stupid together. I can't find the, oh, it's right there. S, small. But yeah, this um, is super cute. And you know, probably I won't get a lot of money out of this, but I couldn't pass it up because any like goth kind of like imagery on a t-shirt honestly does great on Depop no matter what. So of course I grabbed that. I also got the little BCBG tie-dye like top, um, just like pretty cute. Like this is a really tiny size XXS, so I don't even know if this is gonna fit me honestly. But it was really pretty, and if it wasn't on sale, I probably wouldn't have got it for the eight dollars. But since it was with the coupon, I decided it was worth grabbing because it does have the tags, and it was sixty-eight dollars originally. It's cute. It's summertime. It's perfect. So this will probably go on Mercari and Depop, but if it doesn't sell on those, there's always Buffalo Exchange. I know they would take this from me, so it'll go somewhere. This one I also really, really like. This is another like mall goth classic. I could wear this like a dress and I thought about it right when I grabbed it. It says rock and roll. It's got a big ass cross with lots of bling on it. It's got this cool little like lifeline kind of stitching on the back. But yeah, I could totally like see myself wearing this one. So if it doesn't sell, yeah, I might like, I'm really into it. <laughs> so we'll see. Things that I can wear as a dress is always like here with my wants. So it's a possibility. I also found this sweatshirt, which first of all, love this color. And second of all, love the slogan. I am obviously busy. <laughs> love that. This one is from the brand, I guess, Wound Up. I can't tell if this is a vintage tag or not because it like kind of looks like that way, but also not. But yeah, it's just super cool. If it is vintage, it's probably 80s, just judging by the color pattern and the checkerboard. So just like a pretty cute little pickup. I'll probably put this on Mercari and Depop, but it's dope. This is probably one of my favorite things I got. It's also BCBG and I'm surprised they actually priced this reasonably because a lot of the stuff that I was finding it was more in like the $10 range in the hoodies. This one they priced at $5.79 for some reason. This one is very Mogoth, very cute, very in on Depop. Looks great with the mini skirt I'm wearing right now. So freaking cute. I don't remember what it says. I read it earlier. It says like bone chic or something but yeah, I just love all the little rhinestones. I love the color scheme. This one I'll probably price like $30 plus shipping. And I'm sure that it'll sell for that, honestly. This one I also got because I was picturing it on me and I was like vibing with it. It's like this cute little sleeveless tube top style dress. Probably not even a dress, it's like a top, but um, this is the brand Bazolo, which nothing special, but they definitely sold this at a shop local to me called Heartbreaker once upon a time before it closed. I would buy all kinds of Bazolo stuff from them, like tank tops and bralettes and stuff like that. So this definitely has 2007 energy and I'm living for it. Very cute, also sheer on the back. So that's super cool. Might wear it, might just sell it. Kind of depends on what it looks like once I get it on, but Love it. I also got this Pink by Victoria's Secret tube top. Obviously I'm kind of into that style lately, but I've also been kind of into like varsity style things. So I loved that this one has the little number on the bottom here and it's got this little pocket pouch. Just super freaking cute. And it's got the pink dog on it as well, which I know people have been kind of into lately it seems. So I think this one is pretty dope. I don't usually pick up Victoria's Secret at all, but this one has enough cute stuff going on. I just had to like this little ribbon on the side here. I just love it. So that one will be going on Depop and Mercari. And then the last thing I got is the Juicy Couture tank top, which is, is marketed as like a sleepwear top. You could definitely wear it out, but yeah, it's got the choose sleep tag on it. And this is a size medium. It looks like it should have had shorts as well. So that's kind of a bummer that it didn't at Savers, but oops, <laughs> <laughs> I will still be able to get a little moolah for it. And if I didn't for some reason, I would totally just wear this. I do not need any more sleep clothes, but it's so cute and it's super soft. So, and rhinestones. 
anything with rhinestones right now too i'm just kind of like yes so this one will be on depop i also feel like juicy couture is such a heavily searched for brand right now that that might help bring a little traffic to my page so never a bad idea i hope you guys liked the stuff we got let us know what your favorite thing is and also let us know if you like have any suggestions for what kind of stuff we put in the whatnot sale um if you do watch this video right when it comes out and plan on being there we would love to see you there the last one was so much fun and i really appreciate you guys coming and showing up so make sure you check out our whatnot and our depops mine is one sick kitten his is 1-800 ghost dance and if you want to buy anything outright from us that you saw in this video you can also definitely reach out to me on instagram which is one sick kitten with all letters and his again is 1-800 ghost dance thanks we love you guys bye